If you've ever used ChatGPT to create a project, maybe some code, a plan, or just ideas, you probably know the pain of trying to find it later. You scroll and scroll only to find your five paragraph rant about your broken car instead. Today, I'll show you how to turn your ChatGPT sessions into clean, structured projects. You'll be able to actually reuse what you create, not just lose it in a sea of chats. I'll walk you through a real example, and you can grab the free download that includes a clean project folder template, a guide, and a checklist. ChatGPT is great at answering questions, but it's not built for managing long-term projects. It's like brainstorming with a genius who forgets everything five minutes later. Now, you can export all your chats from ChatGPT. There's an official feature for that. Here's how to export your ChatGPT history. Open ChatGPT in your browser and click on your name or profile picture in the top right corner. This opens the settings menu. Select settings, data controls, click export data and then confirm export. OpenAI will email you a zip file. So check your inbox from time to time you will receive an email with a download link. Click it to download your archive. So this zip file will have all your conversations. There's an HTML file you can browse, a big JSON file with the raw structured data. This can be useful for developers and other metadata such as generated images, audio files, and so on. But here's the catch. It's a full export. There's no way to export just one project or one chat. So you get everything, your Python scripts, your grocery list brainstorm, that awkward last night rant about your ex, all in one giant dump. It's not organized. There are no file names, no folders, and nothing structured for use. There's no easy way to pick up where you left off. So if you're using ChatGPT for real work, coding, writing, planning, my method is gonna save you time and frustration. Here's the approach I use. I treat ChatGPT like a temporary assistant, and once it gives me something useful, I export it into a proper project structure. The idea is that simple. Separate your prompts, your notes, your code, and other resources. Store them in real files, organize like you mean it. Let me show you. We'll create a little command line app that lets you log your daily mood. Nothing fancy, just enough to walk you through the process. So first, here's the prompt I'll give ChatGPT. Create a simple Python command line app called Mood Tracker. It should let the user enter their mood and energy level, then store it in a local file with a timestamp. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, looks good so far. Generates the code. And there it is. Basic, but solid. And exactly what I need to get started. Now, let's organize this. I've gone ahead and opened the terminal. You can see it on the right-hand side, and I have Visual Studio Code on the left side. Let's start with the terminal. We'll create the directory for our project. mood tracker and first I create the parent directory and next let's switch to that directory I'll create the subdirectories one for the source files one for references and an archive folder and then I'll create a readme file, a requirements file, and a notes file. readme.md requirements.md and notes.md 
I'm using the free template I mentioned earlier. It includes this folder structure and more, but you can also create it manually like this. Now let's open the parent folder in VS Code. And here we can see our subdirectories and the files we just created. Now README is for your project summary. Let's provide a brief description for our project. So it's a simple command line app to log daily mood and energy. Now the requirements MD holds your prompts and goals. Let's grab the prompt we just used and paste it into requirements.md. NotesMD is for ChatGPT's explanations, ideas, anything you want to keep. So I'll copy ChatGPT's explanation and paste it into this NotesMD file. We have the description of the app, what it does, awesome, its features, the source file. Actually, we can remove it because I'm going to create it in a separate file in a moment. So let's get rid of it. How to run? Yeah, that's useful. And let's remove this last sentence as well. And I save it. Now, the source folder is where your code goes. Let's drop the actual code into a file inside this src folder. I'll name it moodtracker.py. py is for Python source files. And I paste the previously copied code here. Let's try it out. Why not? Okay, how are you feeling today? I'm pretty happy. Energy level, it's around seven. And it saved my mood entry. And here is the CSV file. Awesome. So it stored everything, the timestamp, mood, energy. Anyway, now we have our project nicely set up. We have the source, the notes, readme file, requirements, and now let's talk about the references folder. This one is for external links, images, random stuff. And archive is where ChatGPT responses go if you're not ready to clean them up yet. Now, if you want to track changes over time or just avoid overwriting things, use Git. It's pretty simple to use. Add it using Git in it. And let's add our project and our first commit. Minus M. This is our initial version. So now our project is under source control. Whenever we make changes, we can commit those changes. And if we have to go back to a previous version or something goes terribly wrong, we can go back to any previously saved version. And with this setup, you can come back to your project a month later and know exactly where things are. Instead of rereading 20,000 words of chat history just to find a useful snippet, you have a real working project. To make this easier, I put together a free downloadable kit with a full folder structure, a quick start guide, and a one-page checklist. The link's in the description. Feel free to use it, adapt it, or share it with your friends. It's just a useful resource to save you time. I'm not selling anything, but I'd appreciate a quick thumbs up and consider subscribing. I make practical videos about software engineering, AI, and keeping your data safe in this weird new digital world. And check out my other video on why sharing your secrets with ChatGPT might not be the best idea. See you there.